the overpass there. Garage is located and on track. Ryan C continuing to motor around in the 39 car. His third Brickyard start will be Saturday afternoon. And trying to do better than he has in the past. He was 18th in final practice so far. 18th is his best finish here so far in a race. And they're still looking for their first top 10 of the year. I really thought they'd have it before now, as that team has shown some strength, and Ryan's a good pilot. Uh, they've got a lot of talent as far as a the driver there. You know, it's just underfunded and, and trying to make the most of, of the dollars that they do have. Brings it off at turn four, and he's going to shut it down, take it to pit road, and head down into the garage area. Speaking of the garage, Marty is still down there. What have you found, sir? Here's somebody, and you go, he's stupid. I don't know why he went that deep. You know what I mean? And, and then you would hear Jeff Gordon or somebody go by, and they'd, they'd let off way back up. And you'd look at the times, and they were 15, you know, two-tenths, three-tenths quicker, and it's like, okay, I got it. But you could talk yourself into overdriving that first corner because the adrenaline being pumped up. I'll tell you a quick story. I purposely, when we would stand out on the grid, would look back up the straightaway yes. towards turn four just to look at the cars. I would not look down as to where they were letting off or want to listen or to try to figure out what they were doing or what their car may do because I didn't want that in my mind. I knew what I was capable of doing with my race car and that's where I was going to go regardless of what somebody else did. So you can talk yourself, get yourself yes. in big trouble. In big trouble, there. big trouble. And people wonder how mental it is to drive one of these cars. You've got to think through all those things, right? Ryan Sieg is on track now in the 39, finishing up his lap. Had a solid qualifying run last week. Really good, really impressive against the field last week. Third best at the moment, currently in the top 12. Let's see if he can keep that car there throughout the afternoon. Remember, we're going from practice times and practice one here, slowest to fastest. So we would expect to see the cars continue to work their way. Having to come one more time. And like Jeff mentioned, we have seen some varieties and fuel windows on pit road. And the Chevrolets, especially the JRM Chevrolets, the Junior Motorsports Chevrolets, have seemed to be on the shorter side of most of these racetracks. Dave Allen's working a little strategy, put a little extra fuel in. Do four tires, put fuel on, and then hope the caution comes out. Dave. And a pretty impressive run for Ryan Sieg, who was behind Elliott. Chase Elliott, as we see Ryan Sieg on pit road now. Dave. And Rick, we were going to call him in through the field because he was running seventh. A great run for the small team from Tucker, Georgia. He's a young driver with just a few guys working on his race car. The pit crew is from three different Sprint Cup teams, guys that just want to work on Saturday. The car's been tight all day for Ryan. They're doing a great job. They're the only pit box on pit road without covering from the sun. They're doing it old school, and he's having a good run. They will not be able to make it on one more stop, though, and that's going to be the strategy that will hurt them today, Rick. Thanks, Dave. And back off of pit road goes the 39 of Ryan.